What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you yet another brand new video. And what we're going to be checking out today is all of the variety available right now at Town Hall 10. As we jump over to the war log, we just wrapped up a war against none other than WHF2. Uh, was a lot of fun warring these guys, as you guys see on the screen. Had a pretty significant victory, uh, an eight star victory for FFS, the final 115 to 107. I believe we had seven, seven 10 v10s. Uh, I think over on their side, they had one. Uh, definitely had some struggles, but I mean, it was just a, a midweek random matchup, but it still was a lot of fun uh, warring these guys. We have faced them a couple times. Uh, I think this is the second time uh, that we face them. Uh, but huge performance, huge, huge performance uh, from FFS. But big shout out to them. Let me show you guys. Uh, there's four attacks specifically that I want to show you guys. We'll be showing a couple more, especially this one. Uh, we did have an 11 11 three star this war as well. Um, we're not going to have any Town Hall 9 action because uh, I really want to focus on Town Hall 10, as you guys know. Uh, with the update, uh, that there's still a lot of buzz around. Um, this is what we're going to be focusing on in this video, is the variety at Town Hall 10. For all you Town Hall 9 uh, lovers, myself included, I will have some more Town Hall 9 action on the channel very shortly. But we're going to start off with, with uh, this one. I'm not going to show mine. I'm going to feature a different hog attack, but I did have a 10v10 3-star this war. Shout out to me. Uh, we do have a couple of these dips um this one right here i'm going to show you guys this attack from my man jacob let's go ahead and check out um bitch attack bitch at town hall 10 and doing it a little differently uh we do see that he does have a shattered entry here uh, but notice he's also doing a queen walk but also look at this flank only using two witches identifying that there's only one point defense on this side of the base and again with the single shot inferno towers people are still finding unique ways to take down these talent tens as we have seen the meta shift to the single in uh, single shot uh, or single target inferno towers and on the right base layouts they do absolute work but on something like this bitch I'm telling you guys um, video after video war after war we are seeing this attack strategy in different formations it was even the last video that got posted on the channel using bitch or some variation uh, thereof whether using a queen walk uh, like we've seen this one start off and you can see this base just getting completely mowed down uh, even coming in on this base opposite of the Tesla farm uh, still getting the job done uh, and again shattered entry is very very popular we've, we've even seen giants now on bitch attacks as opposed to the traditional golem uh, on this one went ahead and went with the golem you can see queen is going to end on the tesla farm right here uh, even brought a couple minions just to help this up we'll go ahead and times this as cleanup was a little slow but clearly uh, the base completely got wiped out using bitch at town hall 10 definitely give it a try uh, highlighting the variety right now at town hall 10 you guys so that was the first one uh, that we were going to be showing you guys and we'll actually go ahead and drop down i did miss this one this was also um a bitch attack right here thank you rock um so this was a, a different a, a similar variation look at look at this attack you guys um uh, two witches uh we do see zongo bringing archers uh to get all this free percentage uh and on this one we have multi-target it so we'll go ahead and check this out but yet again only bringing two witches for the flank uh, you'll see on this side there's only a couple uh point defenses you got two ad's at 12 and over at three and only two point defenses so figuring going less which is before we'd see anywhere from three to five witches on a flank with a bunch of bowlers not so much the case investing more troops on the initial push uh as opposed to this flank over here uh so this is just a, a the same attack that we've seen this war two different times uh 
and and for good reason, especially on multi-target where you can go ahead and heal all those troops. I remember multi-target, uh, an infernal tower set right now on multi-target is pretty much doing the damage of like a level four archer tower, uh, something that you can go ahead and heal right through uh, with no issues. And Zongo uh, has been doing this lately as well, again, switching it up, adding variety where he's been bringing hogs uh, to his attacks. And as you can see right here, again, on bits, you usually see uh, the troops do peter out uh, after that initial push through the core of the base. But clearly you can see that everything is in range of this Archer Queen uh, from right over the wall. And he still has ability, uh, still has poison. Uh, and of course, she's going to beat through the wall. Um, instead of going around to get to the bomb tower, she's going to chew through the wall, take out the last building, which was that bomb tower. But a very unique attack, only bringing two witches for the flank, bringing a lot more bowlers, a lot more push to get those troops through. Okay, so that was when we see we saw uh, from Jacob. This one right here, I definitely want to highlight, and he just donated me troops too. What are the odds of that? Uh, setting, setting. I'm going to tell you guys, Rock can pretty much funnel his way into any base. I don't care what the layout is. Look at this funnel. Also bringing Giants and four Valkyries to this attack. Uh, no Golems. Uh, so definitely switching it up with the Kill Squad. Uh, where we see, I mean, definitely thinking outside the box again. Adding variety, bringing Giants and Valkyries. Uh, as you guys are going to see, uh, just going to be suing his queen. Again, just to set this funnel, uh, take care of this wizard tower, and goes ahead and takes out two uh, Teslas as well. So got very, very good value for his queen. Here goes one giant down, ice wizard behind him. A normal wizard would have taken that out. We all know that ice wizards um, are rip until next year, pretty much. Uh, but a regular wizard would have taken that out fine. Here comes the rest of the giants. Uh, a couple wizards bringing down the wall breakers and you can clearly see the funnel that has already been set in this base goes ahead and drops down uh, both or two sets of Valkyries um, he did bring a total of four to this attack jumping in and uh, also dropping down a rage for the giant and the Valks where he's going to take out um, both of the heroes he gets a bomb tower and even gets the infernal tower with his king I, I don't even think he meant this, but his queen ended up surviving uh, when he initially wanted to just sue his queen. Queen ended up surviving and taking out the hound. Luckily, there was no point in D on her, so she could choose through the pups. Hog started in up at 12 o'clock. Uh, if you guys are not on the hog bandwagon, you definitely need to get on it. Hogs are wrecking. Uh, I'm not only at every town hall, uh, at, at, not at not only at every Town Hall level, but especially Town Hall 10, you guys. Uh, bring in those three heals for your hogs. Uh, I mean, taking down max bases, guys, as we're going to see uh, later on in the video. These were some of their lighter Town Hall 10s on the map. Uh, but, I mean, still pretty heavy, though. Uh, but we did three-star some of their top bases. Uh, so definitely switch it. Look, swagged an Ice Wizard, a minion, a balloon. He's got some archers. Uh, completely ended up wrecking this base. So big shout-out to my man, Rock, and thank you uh, for the bowlers. Uh, but very interesting, bringing Valks and Giants as opposed to a traditional Golem, uh, trying to get more from that kill squad. All right, we did have some dips here. Big shout to our 11s. They have been rock solid uh, lately. Uh, big shout out to them. Okay, so we're going to check out uh, this attack right. Which one was it? This attack right here. We're going to check out the Drag Loon pre-update, post-update. I'm going to just pause this one real quick. Look at this base, guys. Uh, do not be afraid. Fear not. You can hit a fully maxed Town Hall 10, guys. And you're going to see there's no heal spells. There is zero heal spells in the spell composition to this attack. 100% fully maxed out. Okay, fully maxed out Town Hall 10. But notice, uh, pre-update, post-update, this attack is still very, very solid on the right uh, base layout. It's what we're talking about. I'm going to hit play. What I'm talking about is Clone Bone. Uh, still a very viable attack strategy at Town Hall 10. Obviously, just like anything, if the base calls for it. So we're going to watch my man Fuzz 
uh, take down this base, setting up a funnel with his king and uh, with his queen and a baby dragon over at three. Uh, it does have a baby dragon, a wizard, and a king over here um, or down here at six, where he's setting up a beautiful, beautiful funnel for these dragons. Still hasn't popped a single hero ability, uh, and he's gonna be raging up uh, each um, each side of these dragons, where he does have two rages for the drags a clone and four haste for the flight portion. Look at the value that he got from his queen, just trimming that entire side over there, even picking up a Tesla, pre-dropping down uh, two haste. And here comes all of the loons, you guys. No hounds, just went ahead and brought CC loons as they are sweeping their way. This base pretty much collapsing in on itself from the core and each side. And just, I mean, the, this base literally uh, just evaporated, as you guys can see, completely crushed. Look at how many dragons, you guys. Look at how many loons are left up on this base. Did not heal through the ITs. Like I said, pre-update, post-update. Um, Fuzz literally doing work uh, on this base right here. And as you guys see, here we go. I mean, nothing but trash. I mean, again, the base is collapsing in on itself. Huge shout out to him. Drag Loon, again, the variety. Uh, even though hogs are definitely meta, there are still so, so, so many attacks that you can use right now at Town Hall 10. And again, on pretty much a fully uh, maxed out base. This was the other one right here I want to show you guys from Chimo. We saw Kill Squad Hogs. Um, now we're going to be doing a Queen Charge. Again, a fully maxed out Town Hall 10. And what made this one that much more special, you have to understand something. Uh, this was a fresh hit, okay? This base was not scouted. This was the very, very first attack on this base. And we're what we're talking about is the Queen Charge um, Mass Hog Attack, AKA Queen Ho, right now at Town Hall 10, uh, completely wrecking it. And the fact that he did this fresh uh, really does make it um, that much more special. So that's what we're gonna be showing you guys right now. Is uh, Chimo gonna be queen charging, pretty much right into the core of this base, you guys. Uh, those wall breakers were raged up as he is gonna be coming, th or he's gonna be coming right at the center of this base. Uh, it was a soft CC, uh, but he did have two poisons. Uh, luckily, he was able to catch the witch inside of that poison to keep this charge going. Uh, Queen uh, King over here at 3 o'clock, just doing a mini Kiwi walk. Uh, those wizards were able, uh, or were actually just shy, just shy of taking out uh, that air defense. Uh, once uh, this DE storage goes down, you'll see he did get the uh, second layer of walls popped. Uh, with those wall breakers under rage. Queen pretty much right here in the core. And uh, as you see right here, we are seeing people switching it up with the ITs, one on single, one on multi-target. Uh, and you'll see right here, pops the queen ability just in time. And you'll see that uh, he goes ahead and starts his hogs. Notice that single shot IT, the only thing that it was targeting were the archers uh, when he popped the royal uh, cloak ability. Um, but he went ahead and dropped his hogs down there uh, at 6 and over here at 7 o'clock where they go ahead and take out the IT. And you'll see right here he does still have two more heal spells. Look at the queen. Look at the queen popping giant bombs. She took out the bomb tower in the core, uh, tanking the expo, tanking the archer tower hogs, taking out uh, that point D just in time as she is able to stay up again. He did not have ability. But these hogs taking out all these defenses, and again, these are full. This is a fully maxed out Town Hall 10, you guys. Uh, where he's going to be ending right here. Look at the, look how many hogs uh, that he has left on this Archer Tower, on this cannon, uh, on this air defense. Just completely ended up wrecking this base, you guys. A uh, huge, huge shout out to Chimo. And this came, I think, within the last maybe 30 minutes, maybe last 45 minutes of war. Um, and again, fully maxed out base, Queen Ho wrecking it at town. Hogs at pretty much any town level. Um, again, I'm gonna show you guys the, the 11 v 11, but the attack that I did with my 10 v 10 uh, was a straight up shattered, uh, was a straight up shattered hobo. Um, but definitely wanted to get out, get 
without the variety. We saw a lot of it uh, this war. Uh, but just a little bonus feature, wanted to show you guys PSC's 11 v 11 three star. Um, is we doing it with Sui Hero, Sui Hero, uh, uh, a Sui Hero Lalo, and look at the value he's gonna get from not only this baby dragon but both heroes. Uh, and we do have PSC. He's got. He still has the. He was. He has been farming his queen. Uh, notice his king is still level 45, but queen, this beast behemoth queen level 50 trimming all of these defenses from over the wall and notice all of the defenses down here will we're all air targeting and you'll see he will be starting his lalo at the upper right hand side of this base goes ahead and drops down those three haste right there i was gonna and you'll see there's a nice spread on the ad's uh there goes the three hounds one of them coming out of the cc and he goes ahead and sprinkles down two separate groups of loons. Warden set on air behind them. And you'll see right here, dropping down loons on these mortars. Absolutely crucial on an attack like this. Beautiful uh, uh, eternal tome ability uh, as the loons were coming in on both of these inferno towers uh, on either side of the town hall. And I mean, on a symmetrical base, that's how we went ahead and dropped down his spells. Uh, hasted him in, went ahead and dropped down his two packs um, of rages in order to get through those ITs. And you'll see he did run out of spells right here, but there's only a couple defenses left. Look at how many, look at how many loons are down here at the bottom. Look at how many loons still has six minions to deploy. Definitely not going to be a time issue. As you see, the last defense going down was one of the ITs. Uh, just barely missed it with that initial pack going into the core. But look at all the cleanup, guys. Uh, base ended up getting completely crushed. Huge shout out uh, to my main man, poor self control, grabbing 11v11 three star this war. Uh, that was a little bonus feature. Like I said, I wanted to highlight the variety right now at Town Hall 10, uh, where we're seeing dragons, we're seeing different variations of kill squad hogs, we're seeing. Uh, Queen Charge Hogs, and notice um, no Sui Hero Lalo. We didn't see any Sui Hero Lalo or any type of Kill Squad Lalos, um, but we are seeing other attacks that you would never see before, especially bringing something like Giant, just bringing Giants and Valks to a Kill Squad, switching it up from the Golem, um, Clone Bone. I mean, it's just crazy what is going on right now at Town Hall 10. I know we've seen, uh, you know, the Mass Pekkas, the HGHB, which is actually the attack that uh, the 110v10 WHF2 got was using HGHB. Not sure how long those attacks are going to stick around for, uh, but the attacks right here, the variety we're seeing, these attacks you definitely want to give a try. Um, it's pretty much what we have been using to grab all these 10v10s in our recent wars. But hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you like the variety right now at Town Hall 10. Um, yeah, definitely let me know what your... Um, uh, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave those down in the comment section. Like the video if you liked it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.